Queen down. I'm gonna have to take him on. Your skeleton's too, damn it. Everything is after me right now. You're dead. I knew there's more of you. You also think I'm gonna be fooled by that bullshit? Any more lights? That should be good for now. Just making sure. Lights save lives. At least down here they do. That is a big ass chamber. I'll explore the rest of that layer for now. I just wanted to lay it up. Mouse, stop fucking sliding when I'm... Can't even let go of this mouse right now, because... My mouse pad's kind of on a slant right now, and every now and then my mouse likes to just decide it's on a fucking slip and slide. Which bugs the crap out of me. Oh boy. That's 13. And this must be 14. I know I have more than that. Or not, never mind. Really don't have much more cobblestone. So that's 14, and this is 15. And I need healing, like right now. So I can get one hit by a creeper, and that's. Oh crap, you son of a bitch. Stop coming up for me. If you're coming up for me, that means you're spawning down there still. Fuck. Can I build in fucking peace? Seriously. Free. Okay, let's see. There's 14. And this must be 15 I'm working on. Except once again, I'm running out of stone. I'm just going to grab some stone really quick here before I go insane. I've done it. It's more or less finished. I just need to work on laying up this entire damn tunnel so I don't get murdered. And there is a lot to light up. Lighting bug be gone. I'll get the rest of that layer. For now, I need to get the hell out of this area. And try to think up a way of making it safe for everything. Oh boy. This is going to be interesting. I knew this was going to be something, but. Oh boy, is it ever something. Let's put it that way. Boy, was I right. Much as I hoped it didn't go into that chamber, it definitely did. And now to try and Okay. So here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna need one more piece of stone to finish this off. There you go. So what's gonna happen here is I'm gonna start too late on the wire. Have a listen. I hear zombies, it's working. But 
don't hear zombies and I have luck and fortune there. Oh, hello, zombies. Enjoy your watery grave. Let's go lost that piece of cobblestone. Damn it. Well, it does work. That is what I wanted to test. Problem is, I think they can swim over that hole because the water's not narrow enough. Let's just take a peek. Yeah, they can just swim right over it. Damn it. That's no good. In fact, it's the opposite of good. Whatever. Oh, guess we're gonna be uh, doing some more trial and error. We're good. So I guess I really didn't need the signs. Whatever. But well, all set up now. We should finally be good. And now for the ultimate test. Hey, seriously, Melis, you want something to increase sixties on your own? Oh, this mouse is gain. It's only the mouse itself, it's just the mouse pad. Every time I let go of the mouse, it can do anything. Half the time, it will just slide on its own. You can easily fix this by just finding something to prop under it. Oh, hello, Borderlands case. You want to be a mouse pad aid? And there you go. Slide now, you piece of shit. We're good. Hmm. If anything, I can probably find a way to make it so that there's a... <sighs> even more spaces for the zombies to land on. Which I could probably do very simply. Just block off the middle ones. And we'll see what happens. It should probably further increase the efficiency. I'm correct. Yes, because now there's even more spaces for him to spawn on. The problem is, it seems like there's light in here that should not be in here. However, you'll be able to tell from the bomb when I get down there. Because I've still got to do the bomb check. So let's go down and do our final assessment of this mob spawner. Whether or not I keep it. Because from what I've seen, it seems to be doing a decent job. I'm hearing a slime. From like over here. That's gonna get very annoying. There is light in there. What the? F oh, the quest to find out where that light's coming from. Why is there light in my spawner? Oh boy. This is another ending quest to try and get the spawner to work. And that thunderstorm is worrying me, so I should probably sleep. Where is that light coming from? Do I leave a torch in there or something? I did. Damn it. Well, now it should be working better. Yep. You can hear him. 
You can hear them falling. A bunch of dumbs. Yeah, walk in the water, why don't you? It's a good idea. Should. Should totally do it. Be awesome. It'll be good times. Dumbasses. Whatever, we have a working mob spawner. With that in mind, I think I'm going to call it here. So, that was actually a pretty decent productive episode. I have a working mob grinder now. Not that I really needed one, but it might help with getting carrots and shit like that. And, okay. I'm not sure what happened there, but as long as I don't wake up, wake up in the wall, I'm fine. There we go. That should also get rid of the thunderstorm. Which I really hope that didn't do any damage to my village. No surprises behind me. Nothing seems to be on fire. I think we're good. Alright, so that was an episode. Before I do quit, I'm going to go back down. I want to check on my mob spawner. See what may have dropped. I'm actually not even sure if zombies can actually drop rare loot from this method. I've only seen Ron flesh so far, but... Yeah, again, rare loot is, as you may have guessed, rare. Smack to the face. Seven Ender Pearls. Holy crap, I might have enough to go to the end by <laughs> by very soon, actually. This is a ridiculous amount of Ender Pearls. So many caves I still need to lay up properly. Whatever. So, let's just check to see what's dropped. One of my torches. And yes, it is completely dark. Okay, we're good. So now, off screen, all I need to do is literally just camp that. And we're pretty much good. I'm also going to need to eventually, you know, safety up this cavern. But that's probably a quest for off screen. So. Basically, yeah, that'll be it for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed me screaming out of a mob spawner for an hour. Well, yeah, I guess it was an hour. It's going to be like an hour, almost an hour and a half of recording. Hour 15 minutes, anyway. So, yeah, I'll pretty much do it. I think I'm going to end off back at my proper house. I have to cut through this guy's farmhouse, though. Unfortunate that I could not find a village on this main continent, but now I know that I shouldn't even bar checking because there clearly are none. No desert strongholds either. There's probably a jungle biome here that I found. So I've got to leave this island if I want to find anything really awesome. However, this island does have probably the largest case system I've ever seen. And that's only in this area. And I still haven't found the end of it. Oh boy. But yeah, I think that's going to do it for me. And uh, hope you guys enjoyed as usual. You know, if there's anything you guys think I should do, like as far as that spawner goes or anything down there, let me know in the comments. That's what comments are for. But until next time, I will uh, see you guys, I guess, later. As I wave this raw and flesh in your face in celebration of a zombie death. Yay, raw and flesh everywhere. Oh boy, that is going straight through my eyes. I will see you guys next time. Okay, guys, quickly before I leave, I forgot that I had written in my book that uh, I should enchant a piece of diamond armor, so... Without further ado, I'm going to do that right now, since I am level 30. And we end up with projectile protection 4. Not the greatest, but uh, not the worst either. 
so that'll wrap it up for today. And uh, hope for a do, that'll be it now. I almost forgot that, but I got that in right at the end. And I will see you guys later.